good morning. How are you like me waiting for summer? <laughs> this is strange, but I see out in BC they're getting warm weather. Maybe we'll have some here before the fall comes. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> okay. In Zechariah 4.10, the Bible speaks about those who have despised the day of small things. You know, there was a time when here at, Eb at uh, this particular church, the Sunday morning would be full. And uh, of course, the church has been in existence, I guess, close to 50 years and has had an up and down experience, as most churches have. But we should never be looking back. We should always be looking forward. When you look at the history of the church as a whole, you know, God made a promise to two people in the Old Testament, Abraham and Sarah. It says he didn't, you see, God took him for a walk under the stars one night, and he said, can you count the stars? So shall your seed be. Now, he had a problem because he was around 100 years old. His wife was not far behind. How in the world could they have thousands of children? In Genesis 15 and Genesis 17, God spoke about this to Abraham. And one thing he did was he changed his name from Abraham to Abraham, which meant the father of a great multitude. And in Romans 4, uh, Paul reminds us about this, and he says he didn't stagger at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, being, listen carefully, fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. No doubt, no way he couldn't figure it out he couldn't sit down with a pencil and paper and figure out some scheme. He just believed. He didn't stagger at the promise of God's unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. And we need to have that kind of outlook, that kind of uplook that he had back then. He didn't stagger. He knew, humanly speaking, it was impossible, but he wasn't dealing with human beings. He was dealing with God. And that made all the difference in the world. And Sarah herself, it says, received strength to conceive seed when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. So Abraham and Sarah both had faith in the promises of God. They didn't stagger because the promise seemed impossible of fulfillment. There's a promise in Isaiah, the last verse of chapter 60, it says, a little one shall become a thousand, and a small one shall become a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. Well, we see that today. That our churches were started. Jerry Falwell's church, I understand.